Yes? And I want to count the number of species in each point. Remember, I, I, am, I am not mapping now the, the number of records because I selected all re all, only single records. The combination of species, latitude, longitude is only one. That is why this, you, this query will make me have species richness per point. to the base also. <coughs> oh. Tables, add. Uh. Madagascar in the map, maybe we can see something. Now I want to classify my, my points according to species number. The other, the other table. Finally, you're, you're hearing what I'm thinking? No. <coughs> Everybody heard what I said? <laughs> Everybody understands what I did? Yes or no? Need to, need to do it again? Yes, I need to do it again? Yes? Don't be shy, I had to do it 
this morning like 20 times. <laughs> okay. Starting from access or starting from the GIS? From access? Okay. Okay. I generated a query. I'm, I'm going to do it with another country. What is B BJ? Whatever. Create query. I want mammals and I want lat long data. Remember the asterisk is like the like the wild card. So what I'm doing, I, this, these are the fields that I want. When you push the sigma, means that I want you, the unique combinations of that, that set of data. And here in criteria, I add the criteria I want. In this case, I only want from class mammalia. Yes? Okay. Save changes in the query, yes. And this is PJ Mammals. So this table has unique combination of species that long. I want to do a, a query that tells me how many species of mammals are in each point. So I design a new query that queries a query. So my query here is this file. I want to know in unique combinations of latitude longitude unique how many species of mammals are there so I create this field number one and instead of saying single I, say, I, I tell them I tell count in English agrupar por is replaced by totals and in English cuenta is count And here you have, for latitude, longitude, which such and such, I have one species, latitude, latitude, such and such, 21. This I can export to, uh, to Excel and have a graph. Not, not always you want to plot your data on, into maps. Save the query. It says J mammal richness. Okay. And I now export this table. If I found it, ah, here is. Export <coughs> to DBase. So that's a BJ mammal. Okay. It's well done. Where is that country? <laughs> which, which one is it? BJ? Uh, well, uh, uh, let's find out. Like, that, that is why we use, no, no, don't tell me. Let, that is why we're using a GIS, right? Tables, 
Okay, I have this. View add event theme. Ah, the, uh, do it again with explanation. Yes? Okay. I'm going to the, the, the me menu of the project, not the view, the project. Tables, add. And opens, uh, opens the, the files. BJM and DBF, close. And go to the menu of the view. Do you, you see, I have a menu for the project, the, G, the overall project. I have a menu for the view, that is this set of data and maps that I, that I have here. And in the view, and in the view menu, I say, view, add event theme, and search for the, my, my theme that I just added. And automatically it detects that X field is longitude, Y field is latitude. Ah, what's that? What is that, Benin? Is what? What country is that? Benin. Benin? Ah. Poorly surveyed. Now I want to classify my theme. Double click. I want a graduated symbol. And I want to classify in terms of species number. And I want to classify in 10 classes. And I want a size of dot that range from 4 to 18. Yes? I can change the, the kind of symbol. Here's the, oh, caray. Whatever. Is that okay? If you had your authority file with the values you want to, 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 to add, you can do these things only for the endemics, for, bo for both set of data. I, I pull out the endemics or I pull out the endangered species and generate queries saying, besides saying I want species and I want lat long, I want endem endemism. And then you have this subset of data and then repeat, repeat the routine and they have squares with the species richness of endemics, with the species richness of endangered, and we can compare very easily among squares values of species richness and endemism and whatever you want. Yes? Questions? Everything okay? Here we, we, we can also learn how to generate an authority file. For example, I have this already, nah, nah, let's, let's do it in the other way. I will query again this Benin I want to generate an authority file. And the guys that supply the data 
are helping me a lot because I have a lot of information that I don't want to repeat in every record that can be part of the authority file. I, we, I want to construct the taxonomic authority file that, have, that can contain kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. That's, a, that's the, the chunk of the taxonomic information that I, can, that I can extract. But I want this information for mammals again. The, the good, uh, what happened here? What is, what is not working in my, in my query? If I want to, to construct an authority file. Hmm? I, I need to make unique. Because I, I didn't ask for that and I have the species many times. Uniques. Okay, so for the first time ever, we have a list of the mammals of Benin and constructing an authority file. Now, what I want to do is generate a new table. So I am going to the design query and say I need a query not for selecting data. I want a, a, a query for create a table. It will add a table to, to the project, to my database. The table is mammals, authority file. And we have 97 species of mammals in our table. Yes. Bye-bye. But now I have a table. This table I can edit. I go to the menu of the of the of the table. Design. And what I will do is add an identific identification field. The field will be ID taxon. And the kind of data is what? Hmm? Numbers, I will say auto numbers. And I'm say this is the main key because it's an authority file. 